Hi, I want to share with you how to develop your chapter of the International Society of Tropical Foresters. My name is Sheila Ward, and I am the coordinator for ISTF Global. So why might you want to form an ISTF chapter? Well, it can help members connect locally and globally with others interested in tropical forest resources. A chapter helps link people in one area for local education and action on tropical forest issues. And a chapter can help your group achieve visibility to national organizations and funders. And in forming ISTF chapters, we're promoting gen some general principles. Uh, good governance by chapter um, uh, um, leadership, chapter autonomy, each chapter is independent for making decisions and financing. We want chapters to be open to a diversity of people and opinions. We want respect for all members and an egalitarian approach, putting all members on an even footing. Adherence to ethical principles, nonpartisanship, not linking to political perspectives or parties, fairness to members and people outside the membership, transparency for chapter operations and decision making, collegiality, cordiality among members and people outside of the chapter. We want accountability of members to members for what they do and of the leadership of the chapter to the membership. And chapters need to stay within the framework of ISTF Global, bylaws, mission, vision, and goals. But these are broadly stated. And if whatever the chapter is interested in related to sustainable use and conservation of tropical forest resources will probably fit just fine within that framework. Now, we do focus on bylaws because good bylaws give you a roadmap to good, good governance for your chapter, guidance and how to run the chapter. So what is the status of current ISTF chapters? Well, ISTF itself was founded in the 1950s. It went dormant in 2012, but there were a couple of legacy chapters that continued to function. Two student chapters, one at Yale University and one at North Carolina University in the United States. ISTF reactivated 2017-18 and new chapters have been approved since 2019 in Rwanda, Mexico, India, Nepal, Nigeria, Ghana, Panama, Duke University and Puerto Rico. And there are numerous other chapters in formation and Bolivia, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Uganda, other countries have inter expressed interest in forming chapters. This map tells the story. The um, yellow dots indicate the existing chapters, red dots ch um, chapters in formation, and blue dots um, areas from which expressed interest has been expressed in forming a chapter. So we're gonna cover a few documents on how to form your chapter you'll need to consider five. First, the central ISTF bylaws. I will leave that for you to review on your own. They can be found at the link at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so that this is so you can understand the general governance, how the ISTF is run and uh, where, what it's oriented towards. In this training in particular, we're going to go over how to use four documents. One, the guidelines for forming chapters, Two, the chapter proposal form. Three, the chapter bylaws template. And four, the form for converging the chapter proposal to the bylaws. These documents are available on the link at the bottom in English, Spanish, and French. I am going to post a link to this presentation in the box below the YouTube video. So look on your screen for that link. To the, so you can download this presentation for your reference. So let's consider first the ISTF guidelines for chapter, um, chapter formation. Okay, now these I'm listing here in the next few slides, the basic steps, look at the document for more detail. The first step 
is to indicate your interest in forming a chapter by going to this the Google, Google form at the link indicated here. Then also study through the ISTF TF global bylaws so you understand the organization better. Then start number three with the chapter proposal form and that will guide you through the next steps here, four through 7.9. The first thing is to define the geographic area of your chapter. If it's gonna be at an academic institution, if it's a region within a country, a whole country, maybe several countries, that's, um, that's your decision to make. You need to find 10 or more people who want to join your chapter. Now, I, we will send you the list of um, members in your area to help with that. And ISTF is working to be inclusive, so please strive for diversity in the people that you consider for your chapter and gender balance. And then send a notice of your intent to form a chapter to the ISTF board. So we've got these people gathered together who wanna to potentially be members for a chapter. So then these next steps, 7.1 to nine, are to be done in consultation with those that group of people. So what are the purpose and objectives of your chapter? What will your chapter do to meet that purpose? How will the chapter be governed? The officers, the committees? How will the elections be held for those officers? How will the chapter be funded? Will you be using dues, other activities, writing proposals for grant money? How often will meetings be held? How will they be held for the executive committee and for the membership? Then there will be some reporting you need to do annually to the central ISTF and to your own membership. And things change through time, so you need a way to amend the bylaws. So then you will pull that information from that, those questions and use it to draft the chapter proposal form. So the chapter proposal form will go to the ISTF board. They'll take a look at it and tell you, well, you need to think about this or that. And then you, the next step, number 10, is to take the chapter proposal form, the chapter proposal you put together to convert it to the chapter bylaws. Bylaws being the governing document or the roadmap for how you're gonna run your organization. Okay, so that process will cover in the next slides um, how to do that conversion. And after you've written up the bylaws then, you will send them to the ISTF board for review and incorporate the board suggestions. This will take a back and forth a bit. And then approval that, that those late draft, those bylaws will go back to the prospective membership and they'll say, vote on it to say, yes, we want them. And then send them to the ISTF board for the final approval. And then, the prospective members will make an, an additional vote for officially adopting the bylaws and the chapter is formed, it commences. The next step, number 15, is to elect your officers as per the bylaws. And then there are some suggestions as to how to conduct that first election. And then the elected officers will sign and approve the, uh, uh, sign the approved and adopted bylaws. So chapter two is the proposal form. Now this is a way to collect information then that will go into helping to form the, uh, write the bylaws. It includes information about you, the proposer, the proposed chapter, proposed membership, and the governance structure with the officers, elections, meetings, anticipated chapter purposes, goals, activities, chapter finances, dues if or not, accountability for how things are spent. Then coordination and synergy are also important with other organizations concerned with forests in your area. And you also need a process for formalizing the chapter such as the bylaws and making amendments to the bylaws. So let's look here for at the chapter proposal form. Okay. So this is the first section where you just put in some information about yourself, your email address, so we can contact you. And then about the proposed chapter. What are you going to name it? What kind of coverage? Is it an institution? What is the geographic area? 
Where will the chapter be based? Will it be hosted by another institution? What will be the language you will work in? Another page, proposed membership. Um, will it be students? Will it be general membership? How will you recruit members? Okay, so then you will go through and keep completing the different sections of the chapter proposal form. And when that's finished out, you send it on to the ISTF board. They might give you some feedback on it. The next step here, we wanna take a look at relatively quickly are the components that go into the ISTF bylaws template. Now this is a recipe or a cookbook or a template that you can use for just mapping out those bylaws for your chapter. So there are 10 articles. The first one is name and area covered. Second is your chapter objectives. Third is about your membership, rights and obligations. Fourth is about officers. Fifth is about committees. Sixth is about your elections, how you're gonna elect your officers. Seven is meetings for both the executive committee and the um, membership as a whole. Article eight is about financial accountability, how you make, how funds will be spent responsibly. Nine is about that necessary reporting. And 10 is about how you will carry out amending your bylaws. Okay, so we'll look at some sections here, the bylaws template briefly. So again, I said, this is a recipe for you to, to make it easier for you to create your bylaws. If the parts here on white background in the next slides indicate required content. If it's in yellow in parentheses, it indicates content that the chapter can modify for its own purposes. If it's blue, that's some instructions, but that they should be eliminated in the final version of the bylaws. Okay, so let the first section here is just the name and area covered in yellow indicates where you can make some choices, what you're gonna name it, general membership or students covering an academic institution or a part of the country, what language you will use. Another section on membership. Again, if it's gonna be at an academic institution, you would delete that phrase there after you were um, done with writing this up. And if it will be only students at blank institution, that's one choice you make, or it might be a more general membership. And then down below there, you, blue, you can see in part 1.2, some instructions. In 1.3, um, an additional membership right that you might want to include just as a possibility. You don't, but the minimum membership um, rights, for example, are voting and participating in activities. And on we would go forward through the other sections of the bylaws template where you can see what the other pieces are to this um, recipe for the check. So the next step is, you've written out your proposal, you've checked over the bylaws template to see what's involved. The next thing you're gonna do is go to document four, the form for converting the ISTF chapter proposal to your actual chapter bylaws. Now this form takes a section of the chapter proposal form and follows it with the corresponding section of the bylaws template. You will simply take the information from the proposal piece and put it in the bylaws template and then that section of the bylaws that will help you complete that. So I'll show you a few slides on how this works. Okay, here is a couple of pieces from the chapter proposal form with information about you and about the proposed chapter. And that information from this part of the proposal goes into this piece, Article 1, of the bylaws template, okay? So that's what the form looks like, a piece of the proposal followed by the corresponding piece of the bylaws template. So you just move the information from one to the other, and that will help you move through writing your bylaws. Another example is about the membership. You had written this bit of information about your proposed members, that section in the proposal. That information goes into Article 3 on membership here. So. And then, so that, then you just step on through the other sections from the proposal form to the bylaws template in the, as indicated, following piece by piece in this conversion um, form. Then we've already talked about these next steps after you get that proposal, I mean, after you get the bylaws all formulated and I'll just cover them again briefly. 
So you're going to take that, those bylaws will have been drafted then with your membership, um, prospective membership. Everybody will say, you'll kind of go around, get some more suggestions from people, see if everybody thinks that they look all right. Then you have a bit of back and forth with the board. They'll have some more ideas. And then you'll get um, a form that of the bylaws that the chapter members are happy with and the board is happy with. With that late draft, you'll take it to your chapter members, your prospective members for their vote of approval of that form to be sent off then in number 13 to the board for their stamp of approval, okay? And it comes back to the chapter members, you make another vote of adoption and your chapter is formed. 15, step 15 is carry out that election as per the bylaws. We have some suggestions on how to do it in document one. And then your elected officers sign the approved and adopted bylaws and date it. And you are ready to roll. Okay, so thank you very much for your interest in forming an ISTF chapter. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, just um, uh, contact us at tropicalforesters at gmail.com. And thank you very much.